Selections Management in BuildBook lets you organize and track all of your important material and finish choices that your client will need to make during the project in order to keep things on track. Selections in BuildBook are organized by categories and items. Categories are containers to organize related items. So in this example, you'll see our selection category is our cabinets. Items belong to a category and are a place to capture the details of each individual choice within the selection category. So here you'll see the individual items would be things like the guest bath vanity, kitchen cabinets, and master bath vanity. To create a selection category, just click add new selection category in the upper right. From here, you'll just add your category name, the allowance for the category, a due date if there is one. You optionally do not have to put a due date. If you do create a due date for the category, it will show up on your schedule. You can add your description and then you can click save to go ahead and head back to your selections or you can always keep adding. Allowances are set at the category level, then actual costs are tracked for each item, which you can see here in the selected amounts. Ideally, the sum of these items will be equal to or less than the entire allowance. Here, you can see that in this example, we've actually gone over $8,000. You can also filter here on your total if you want to see total complete, which you can see all of our items are open right now, or allowance remaining. Note that the final sum of the items are not reflected in the budget until all of the items within the category are marked as complete. Until then, the original allowance is shown. Next, we'll go over how to add selection items into each category.